Welcome to chapter 10. This is the segment on neutrals and semi-neutrals, and I cannot emphasize how important this chapter is. I love teaching this because, number one, most people think when they're thinking about color and what color is all about, they're looking at the outside of the color wheel, the pure hue, because that is kind of the juicy, exciting thing that's going on with color. But the key to color is the semi-neutrals and the neutrals. Knowing how to mix those colors are really, really important. So this particular chapter, I think, is the heart of what uh, I want to talk about with this, all of this color. So looking at this, at this point, I'm going to talk about yellows and violets. And uh, as we've seen in the past, the ultramarine violet here grays out beautifully with the cadmium yellow light. But it also is a wonderful gray, and it gives you a whole different type of gray if I use the Naples yellow. It uh, has, Naples yellow has a little softer white in it, and so it's a little chalky. It's one I use when I'm painting waterfalls and so on to get these grays and the softness of the water and so on. But uh, I can also use the same ultramarine violet with a cad yellow medium or even a cad yellow deep. Now each one's going to get warmer and it's going to shift, so it's going to be rotating a little this way. So now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, a study using this theory. Okay, I'm going to start with a neutral with the Naples yellow and the uh, ultramarine violet and get a gray. Maybe I'll start even a little bit to the yellow side. Okay, we'll just start with this, this mix here. Just a beautiful kind of soft Naples atmospheric quality and we'll take it down. Okay, and let's uh, shift this now to Cad Yellow Deep. Let's go there, just for fun. Be a warmer, a warmer one. And we'll just kind of warm this, see what happens with it. And uh, pop this in. So it um, gives me a little warmth and uh, patterns moving through. So I now all of a sudden this this other area we start to see differently. And uh, we'll take that down, maybe shift back to a medium, cad yellow medium. So the gray's gonna be, but I think I'll take it more to the neutral. Again, you've gotta use more of the ultramarine violet, less of the, um, Cad yellow medium, and we'll take that down, shift to the yellow, to the cad yellow light, and go back to the absolute gray. Why not? I'm just going to build the neutral right against that yellow to make that sing, make that pure hue sing. Now I want to shift to the green red and show with this expanded palette choices that you have there. Well, first of all, we have a thalo green versus a viridian green. Viridian granulates and this is a staining transparent green. And so they're going to give you similar neutrals, but one's going to be uh, granulating, the other not. Also, the rose and the thalo can give you rich blacks, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But I can take that same uh, thalo or viridian and I can shift it to the magenta and I'm gonna get a near neutral to this side. Okay, now the paper's dry and I'm gonna come back and get a little snap to this piece. I'll come in with that same thalo green because it's, uh, I can get almost a black with it or really it, it will feel like black. And I could go with different choices. I'll go to the rose. We'll get a little dry quality with this now. And I'll bring that right up here. And where that dark is, 
of course, it's going to be right up against the edge of the white. So it will make that just have more contrast and come to life. And I'm going to weave this right across where I start to feel that same dark move through to the secondary piece. We'll bring some of this dry brush in out here to give it a little more sparkle. Bring it back into this lower area and so on. Another vertical coming up through here. 